Hello, my name is Lily and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I detangled my 4C hair after wearing a wash and go. So if you like to see that, keep watching. But before we go into the video, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I post new video. Without any more talking, let's jump right into the video. I've had my wash and go on for like six days of wearing my wash and go so it's time for me to change my hairstyle first of let me give you guys a close view of what my hair looks like like my hair is all matted basically it looks like dreadlocks right now I'll just First, divide my hair into sections. So now I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, five sections. Um, I'm dividing my hair into sections just to make it easier for me to handle. So now I'm going to go into the shower and just rinse my hair out because I use the gel. I mean, if you watch my watch on Google video, if you not watch, you should go and watch that video. I'm going to leave it in the description box um, down below. So in the video, I use the gel to do the wash and go. So now I have like gel in my hair. So I'll first just go into the shower and rinse out all the gel. <coughs> I'm not doing anything special, so I'm not going to film that. I'll just be rinsing my hair without detangling or anything. So yeah, after rinsing, I'll come back and show you guys. My hair is all rinsed out now, so it's time to detangle. I came prepared. Uh, okay, so this is um, okra gel, DIY okra gel. There's nothing special about this. I just basically, I just basically boiled um, fresh okra and strained it to get this gel. Then I have my pearl scissors and my ever faithful shepherd. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be starting from from the front. just a breeze like look at how my fingers are just running through my head like look at how easy this is so I don't want this video to be too long so I'm going to do the rest of camera and then I'll come and show you guys my results because I have so many other things I want to do in this Applying the upper gel all over my hair. It took me about 40, 45 minutes to finish doing all my hair. This is 
quite messy, like it's very messy. So if you tr decide to try this, I need you guys to bear that in mind. You need to put on like a shirt that like, you don't mind losing. Like this is very messy as you can see. I'm going to have a lot to clean up when I'm done with this. how much gel I have left um, just to get an idea of how much I used on my hair so I'm going to let it sit in my hair for 30 minutes and then I'll wash it out with my DIY black solution my hair is now um, freshly washed um, now I'm going to um, style my hair with my shea butter you guys have already seen this a million times so I'm just going to spin through this part of the Wash it today lasted for a little over three hours. That is basically one hour more than the amount of time I normally spend. That's not bad. Considering the fact that I didn't spend any time like styling my hair during the week, like the wash and go was very low maintenance. I just um, basically just removed my hair tie and fluffed the money. So I basically did nothing um, to maintain the style. Will I be doing the wash and go again? Yes, definitely. Will I make it my go-to hairstyle? No. Only because it takes forever to dry. Like after applying the gel, um, it takes too long to dry. So if I'm going to do wash and go again, I'm probably going to dry my hair with heat and I wouldn't want to be applying heat on my hair all the time. So apart from that, I have no regrets. <laughs> so for those of you that have been wishing that all my hair will fall out well, I'm so sorry to disappoint you guys. My hair is still intact. So that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to give the thumbs up. Uh, thank you for watching. See you.